that has clearly struggled to see if they can't figure out a way to make this a game. Washburn comes back and gets the strikeout on Daniels. Innings pitch, so a little over one strikeout per inning. And there's a rip to right, and it's hit well. And this one will leave the ballpark. Jermel Ford uncoiled on one. And Alcorn State quickly has taken the one nothing lead here in the top of the first. Chop to the right side in between hop. No problem for Tim Elko, and he takes it himself. And he does. Base hit up the middle. Second hit at the plate. Check swing, popped it up. In and out of the glove of Washburn. But Burford makes the play. And Gonzalez walks. Grand slams, it wasn't tight anymore. First multi-grand slam performance since back in 20-plus years ago. And Elko gets the bases loaded walk. Kuzman, you're not even getting pitches that are close. I mean, that, that one was very close to being a strike, and Kuzman doesn't get it. Mm. Strike three called. Swinging, and he sends one to center field. Smith will make the catch deep enough to score Gonzalez, and Burford with a sacrifice fly. Pops one up into short left. Field, going to be a tough play. Well, then coming in, making the catch. It stayed up long enough for Wright to come in and make the catch. So home. there's a bouncer to the right side. Washburn will take care of the leadoff hitter, and that's 27 pitches have been for strikes. And another base hit. This time it's Tyler Daniels. He's now one for two tonight. Daniels stopped the streak. Washburn had retired the last five. There goes the runner. The throw down by LaPasser is in time to Gonzalez. And that takes care of Tyler Daniels. He does have three strikeouts, make it four. And he lines one down the left field line. It's going to go into the corner. It's going to be extra bases for Elko. And Elko with a stand-up double in those first two innings. But now they get their first base hit. And now first pitch swinging is Justin Bench down the right field line. And it is caught. Betancourt. Made a nice play. Leatherwood flew out to left. There's a fly ball, right field. Coming in is Bentoncourt. Let's see if Elko will tag. Yes, he will. The throw is off the mark. A little love as well. They help out in, in the control room, making that happen as well. And there's Bench. He's going to have extra bases. That one's going to be off the wall. A stand up double by Burford. That one gets past Palladino. And Burford is at third now. I'm telling you, folks, it's only the bottom of the third. There's a base hit by LaPasser, his first base knock of the year. It's going to be extra bases. Burford scores. They're going to try to score Leatherwood as well. There will not be a throw and a two run. And Chantanye sends one deep to left. Ballpark's not going to be big enough. It's a home run by Peyton Chatagne. His third round tripper of the season, and the Rebels have exploded now here in the bottom of the third with five runs. Strike three called. They lost the first one 13 to nothing. There's a fly ball to left field. Leatherwood is went back a few steps. Now he'll come in. Alcorn lost 14 to three. This one's popped straight up. And Elko in foul territory will take care of Smith for the second out. And a swing and a miss. And Cole Baker with a strikeout, his first of the night. Then a fly out to right in the third. And he has his first base hit of the night. Solid single up the middle. There goes the runner bench. There will not be a throw by Paladino. There's a rip to right by Burford. Clement's going to hold the runner, but now they almost had two runners at third. Alderman scoots. Ball four. And a bases loaded walk. Very opportunistic, this Ole Miss team. That was, that was really quick math. 73-37, you knew that was one. You'd already cheated. 
And Chantye adds to his RBI total. He's reached base now four times tonight. This is going to be a two-run single as Burford scores, as does Tolly. That one gets past Paladino and the wild pitch. The 3-2. And Wood swings and misses. I keep checking to see. Well, there's Bench getting plunked. Let Ball four. <laughs> Fly ball, center field, and that should do it. But Ole Miss scores seven runs in the inning. Taking all the way, and that's ball four. Strike three call. They are going to try to strike him out, throw him out, but a stolen base for Paladino. Burton comes back to strike out Jordan Holt yeah. for the Braves. And Burton had a little extra get. Burton's going to try to strike out the side or strike out the three batters that he faced, and he just did it. Call. He's picked up a bat. So Kramer will get a net bat here in the. Oh, how about that play by the third baseman? Nicely done, Bayless, but the. Uh, Hopefully Mother Nature will cooperate. Doesn't look like she wants to. Snow predicted this weekend. There's a bouncer to first. And two, three, and four hitters. Ford, Green, and Sunnier, or I should say Wright. First pitch swinging and a pop-up. Oh, and two the count and Parento. 91 mile an hour fastball. Plunks, Green. And a strikeout for Parento, his first of the night. Big innings for these guys. Again, not for the outcome of the game tonight, but you go in there and you throw 10 pitches. And Ole Miss is taking advantage of a lot of them. Here's Garrett Wood, struck out his first two times up, but sends a fly ball to center. One for two officially. That one hit a home run, and now he is two for three. How about Malone? I was going to say he's been proud of his player. He would be proud of his yeah. player. And you'll probably see the highlight tomorrow. Yeah. No, he's not watching. No. Bench flies to right. The bases loaded walk his last time up. He sends the fly ball to right. It will be caught, and that will take care of the Rebels. Strike three called, and Morrell strikes out Lewis. By training. I mean, there's no question that these guys now, I mean, there's a lot of velocity training programs out there, and it works. These guys work hard. And, and that will do it. Strike three called, and the Rebels win this one going away. And that will wrap up our coverage here from Swayze Field. So for Keith Kessinger and our outstanding.